Hey guys, Eric Franklin here from CNET. We're here at CES 2012. I have with me Ed McNearney, Chief Tech Officer of OLPC. That's one laptop per child. Ed's here to show the XO 3.0, right? Absolutely. Tablet. Okay, Ed, take us through why this tablet is special and why I should care about it. Well, you should care about it because our mission of providing education to kids around the world, wherever they can get it, is, is really important to us and should be important to everybody. The XO3 tablet is an eight inch tablet, comes in a waterproof case, it's actually waterproof itself, but okay. your case keeps things out of it. Uh -huh. And it's a tablet that's designed for education, it's designed for small kids, and it's designed to be fun and have a good time with it. What exactly are you expecting kids to do with the tablet? Well, we're building on the work that we've done with our X01 tab, uh, laptop computers, which mm -hmm. we've got about two and a half million of those right. out in the world right now. Which kind of the same aesthetic design, right? Absolutely, like absolutely. You'll, kind of, you'll, you'll recognize them. They kind of look them. very kid-like. You know? they're, they're designed to be you know, something that you enjoy and it's comfortable, sure. something that kids keep coming back to all the time. Right. But we've built not only the hardware, but you know, we really focus on open source software and hardware. Uh -huh. So all the educational content and all the educational tools that we've developed over the past right. are available on the tablet as well. One of the things we care about is low power and low cost. Mm -hmm. And this technology uses Marvell's Armada 610 processor family. We're actually using that in our laptops as well. Okay. So we have a very low power laptop and a very low power tablet. What about, can you speak a little bit to the software that it's actually running? I heard it's running Linux. Is that well, it does run Linux. Okay. Uh, our software is uh, all open, even the, the firmware is okay. open. Our microphone port is actually a DC sensor input port. Uh -huh. So you can put a uh, thermometer, you can put electrical measurements, you can actually build experiments and do that kind of stuff with so it. So you really, you're, give, you're really giving kids like a canvas to kind of experiment and kind of try different things and just see what happens, you know, well, based that, on the curiosity. Well, that's, that's a really good example because one of the things that we do with the tablet, and we, we've done with our laptops too, is provide a lot of tools to teach kids how to do programming. Okay. how to write and debug programming. Wow. Because we've, we, there's a lot of evidence that says that when you're programming, it's a lot like learning about learning. Can you speak a little bit? I've heard these have like some unique ways of charging the tablet. We do. Yeah, so can you show that a little bit? Sure, I can. Okay. Uh, one of the things that we do is our charging port here is really unique in the, in the tablet industry. We can take anything between 10 volts, 25 volts, varying power, anything that you can generate out there in the world. Uh, we demo that with our hand crank. It's, it's kind of a fun demo. I wouldn't want to use this as my <laughs> primary power source but every day. But if you have nothing else, well, then, it's, then you, maybe you as Well, maybe as a fallback, this is a four watt solar panel. Okay. okay? The, the tablet uses about two watts. Right. So you leave this out in the sun for an hour and it can produce enough juice to run this for two hours. We've got a, a big fat standard USB port. Sneaker, USB. Net, sneaker net is really important where, where we go. Okay. And everybody's got thumb drives. They got to stick into a full size sure. port. Sure. So we gave them a full size port. Uh, we've got the microphone and, st and headphone ports yep. that we talked about. Uh, as well as a USB, uh, micro USB on the go port. Uh -huh. So you can put in those kind of peripherals. Okay. You can also connect two devices to each other, yeah. allow some new opportunities there. Like, uh, if there's like, a lot of our users, you know, consumers, they, they're, you know, normal consumers, so they'd be interested in buying this, is that possible? Could they buy this? No, we don't sell now? these, we don't even manufacture them. Okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're a little different from everybody. Right, so we, right. we design the products, right. we bring them, you know, get them ready to, to go. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with a manufacturing partner to do that, and then we then look to the, the countries and the organizations that have purchased the products in the past uh -huh. and say, okay, they've got to pull and say, yes, we want to do that. We don't right. build up big warehouses full of, of tablets and hope somebody buys them. Right. Thank you, Ed. Thanks for bringing this by. That was the OLPC XO 3.0.